Right, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can reset Windows Store and clear the cache if you're having an issue. Now, as you can see here, I'll just quickly show you this error message. When I go to download anything and install it, I get an error message saying, try again later, uh, something happened at our end. And I've tried to reset the computer and stuff, and uh, it's not worked. Now, you can see here, there is a couple of files that I tried to download earlier, and they got corrupted. And uh, clearing the cache would fix these. You can see error, uh, see details. So I can either close these off and uh, hopefully fix this, or I can uh, reset the Windows Store and clear the cache. And that's another way to fix any sort of errors. So let's go ahead and try and do that right now. So I'm going to right click on the Start button here, go to Run, and you want to type in here wsreset.exe. And what this will do is open up a command prompt box and reset your Windows Store. Um, and hopefully that will rectify problems. Now, if you still have issues, you can see it has actually rectified my problem. It's actually cleared uh, the downloads there and the error. But what I'm going to do is show you another thing that you can do, which is clear any cache for any sort of third party apps that you may have been trying to download and it will clear those out. So come down the bottom and type CMD, right click on command prompt here and run this as administrator. Say yes to the user account control and uh, a command prompt box will open up here as you can see here. Now what we want to do here is we want to type in here w h o a m i space forward slash user and that is u m i space forward slash user and you can see the uh, s i d key here this is the user account for that uh, account there for Brightech as you can see here now if you want to get all of the user accounts up for all the accounts on that system you can type in there w m i c user account space get name uh, uh, dot sid or comma sid it is uh, that you want to be putting in there not dot sid so let me just quickly uh, show you that you see it's a common not a dot and there we go push enter and you will then get all the user accounts on that computer now the one I'm interested in is the Brightech one here and all you need to do now is go to the registry and find that user account and remove it from the registry and reboot the system and that will clear the cache on that account for uh, the Windows uh, store and I'll show you how to do that so let's go down to the search box here and type reg edit open up the registry editor and uh, say yes to the user account control here and now we have our uh, registry open now let me just quickly show you the path here I've already got the path uh, up the top highlighted so you can see it that is the path you need to go to but I'll walk you through it just so you can see it here so let me just go up up the top it's a uh, H key local machine software Microsoft and then pull the uh, bar down a little bit so come down and uh, you want to go to Windows here, then current version. And then you want to come down to where it says APPX. And then you want to go to App, All Users Store. And inside here, come down and you should see the SID account. Now you may see more than one account if you've got more than one account on there, but there's only one account on this machine and this is it here. So what I need to do here is just right click and we can delete uh, this account. It's safe to delete, but you may want to make a registry backup or a backup of your system if you are playing in the registry. Okay, now what this is going to do is clear the cache for that uh, Windows Store for that count, okay? And it fixes a lot of errors and a lot of bugs, and you can see here. So let's just close that off now and reboot the system, and uh, hopefully uh, the problem should be fixed. Now that will be repopulated once we go back in there. So I'm gonna restart the computer. There we go, just let that boot up. And I'll give the uh, Windows Store a test to see whether it's working okay. So it's just going to log in here. There we go. It's just uh, getting onto the login screen. Now, if you have got more than one account there, you can uh, 
locate those by doing all the user accounts in the command prompt like I showed you. So you can see here now we can just test this by just clicking on the hill climb racing 2 or any other program or game and click get and we should get that coming straight down. It's working, no error message and it's starting to download. There we go, it's that easy, that's how you can fix uh, any sort of problems with your Windows Store, you can see the file is now coming down. Let me just click up here and you can see, there we go, it's coming down nicely. And we've got rid of that error message and that problem and cleaned all the cache for the Windows Store. So I hope this one helps you out, guys. If you've got some sort of similar error message or, or you've got a problem with your Windows Store, it's not opening, not populating, not downloading or anything like that, then you can follow those steps and hopefully that will, re will resolve your issue. If you need any other sort of help, then you can always pop over to my forum and uh, help will be given over there as best I can. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.